Hi, my name is Neha Singh and I'm a fourth year PhD student at the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences conducting my research under the guidance of Dr. Rajendra Kumar. So I came here initially as an exchange student when I was doing my master's thesis back in India. I was doing my uh, master's in pharmacology. I applied in the same lab, in the same faculty because I knew um, what the lab can give me and what the faculty can give in terms of diversity and inclusion. And uh, that's why I came here again as a PhD student. In UBC, I believe um, we have a very diverse network of population coming from different countries. And this is very important for an international student coming all the way from the southern part of Asia and who doesn't have any family member here in Vancouver or in Canada. So I guess this diverse network of students really keeps me going and keeps me focused on my research and really helps for my mental health. My PhD thesis is about exploring the role of somatostatin and dopamine receptor dimerization uh, and to explore this dimer formation in neurogenesis and to see if this dimer formation can protect the cells against Al Alzheimer's disease. Most of my work is about doing experiments and it's about looking for the receptor interaction, protein-protein interaction. So we also look for co-localization, which, which we use double-label immunofluorescence microscopy. So I spent a lot of time on microscopy and I enjoy it a lot because neurons look really very great when they are under the microscope. So it's, it's actually fun. So neuroscience was always a very interesting subject for me and although um, starting new and starting fresh as a PhD in a subject that I was not an expert, my supervisor has been really very helpful in uh, imparting his subject knowledge to me. I think he, he is a great scientist. He is a scientist who believes in leading with an example. He's so full of passion, so it just gives me a motivation that, you know, the science is far be beyond an award or publishing a paper. It's about passion. And that passion is something that I've learned from him. It's a lifelong lesson. If I were to describe graduate farm site community in three words, that would be um, inclusive, friendly, and lots of fun. So every, um, every month we have celebrations in the graduate lounge because uh, that's the time when we all graduate students meet or discuss about life in general. So um, it could be an event which is due to a, a holiday or it could be, for example, last month we celebrated Valentine's Day. I believe that um, as a graduate student, it's, it's equally important for us to connect because we apply for awards, we apply for um, various fellowship and scholarships. So networking with people really gives us um, insight about how do we write our applications. Uh, you start your PhD with an intention to become a scientist or to become an independent PI, but you never know that during the process, during the journey, you realize that you have really great leadership skills and you end up becoming an entrepreneur. So I believe it's really important for you to explore um, to spread your wings and to see how far you can fly. Pharmaceutical sciences gives you lots of opportunity. Um, it just depends on the graduate student. How do you want to grow and which direction do you want to grow? Um, it, it definitely provides a great scientific environment because uh, I have great supervisor, but also fa faculty of pharmaceutical sciences has uh, sharpened my leadership qualities. And uh, over the past couple of years, I'm realizing that I'm also good at, at the managing uh, projects or for example, now I'm a co-chair of uh, GBRS. So now I'm understanding that I can also lead a team. So with no hesitation, I feel faculty of pharmaceutical sciences has shaped me uh, ready for any position that comes up in the market that I'm interested to, um, to go and explore. <laughs>